actually the base uh, classification on the basis of molecular target is most important classification most important classification for medicinal chemists medicinal chemists why because this type of classification can offer medicinal chemists to identify mechanism of action of drugs and this give, this will gives or offers an idea how to develop a new drug to selected target in our body so this is the classification of drugs after the classification of drugs let us learn drug and molecular targets drugs and their targets as we just learned that out of the four types of classifications the most importance goes to classification on the basis of molecular target here the drugs will have some targets in the living organism or human beings so let us learn the next concept is drugs target interaction drug target interaction this will gives an idea how the drugs are going to target the macro molecules of living organism body once again let us learn the human beings or animal body is consists of various types of macro molecules named as proteins lipids carbohydrates and nucleic acids let us learn proteins some type of proteins of our body are useful for catalytic processes those proteins which helps us for catalytic processes in our body are called as enzymes that means drugs can target enzymes of our body to cure or to mitigate or to prevent various types of diseases similarly some type of drugs are some type of proteins of our body are useful to communicate nervous nervous system of human body so such type of proteins are called as neurotransmitters okay the most important protein forms available which can carry out wide variety of metabolic processes in human beings are enzymes these are useful for catalytic processes whereas receptors they are communication they are in part of communication in nervous system of human beings similarly carbohydrates and protein sorry carbohydrates and lipids are found to exist in cell membrane similarly a type of proteins available in our body they are called as carrier proteins these carrier proteins are useful to carry polar substances through cell membrane from outside of the cell to inside of the cell to carry various types of metabolic preparation or biosynthetic processes similarly nucleic acids like dna and rna generally consists of genetic codes which are useful for the transportation of messages or characters from one generation to another generation as well as these codons are which may be present with nucleic acids are helps us in protein synthesis so this is about various types of macro molecules and their roles identified to be present in human beings so under this side heading that is drug target interaction this side heading can explain how the drugs are going to interact with macro molecules like nucleic acids proteins lipids and carbohydrates of our body but in this topic we are going to explain the interaction of drug with enzyme and interaction of drug with receptors that means only two types of targets we are going to select which are highly affected by drug molecules in the human body they are enzymes as drug targets 
receptors as drug targets. So let us have under this heading, we are going to consider one more side heading, enzymes as enzymes as drug targets. That means the used chemical substances which are called as drugs are going to target various types of enzymes of our body. Once again, what is the purpose of enzyme in the living organism? All enzymes are useful to carry catalytic mechanism or catalytic reactions. Here, before going to explain how the drug molecules are going to target enzymes, we have to know enzymes are catalysts, biocatalysts. They are useful for the conversion of substrate molecules into product molecules. So before going to learn how the drugs are going to target enzymes, first we have to learn enzyme mechanism or enzyme activity. Enzyme activity. What is the purpose of enzymes? What is the role of enzymes identified in the living organism body? Once again, as we just explained that enzymes are biocatalysts. They are useful for the conversion of substrate molecules into product molecules. During the enzyme activity or enzyme cataly catalytic behavior, the two important steps are identified by us. In first step, in first step, enzymes are going to accept substrate molecules. Remember, during a biochemical processes or any chemical processes, substrate molecules or reactant molecules are converted into products. Inside of the body, during biosynthetic processes, all the substrate molecules are converted into their related products in the presence of biocatalysts only such biocatalysts are nothing but a form of proteins called enzymes so first of all in the first step in biological activity of enzymes the enzyme is going to accept substrate molecule these substrate molecules are going to enter into active site of enzyme that means every enzyme will have some desired site in its structure those desired sites which may be available with enzymes are called as active sites i would like to consider it is an enzyme so this part is called as enzyme part and every enzyme will have some desired structure that desired structure is going to accept substrate molecule that means the active site can offer various types of functional groups which can attract the substrate molecule and binds the substrate molecule. Here, I would like to consider one substrate molecule like this. Remember, one enzyme cannot attract all types of substrate molecule because the active site structure is different from all the substrate molecule. That means, the substrate molecule structure must be matches with active site structure and second factor the substrate molecule will have some functional groups such functional group must be attracted by the functional groups which may be present inside of the active site of enzyme then only the substrate molecule will enter into enzymes active site we can represent it as like this once again, it is enzyme due to structural similarity between active site of enzyme and substrate molecule. So, it can easily enters into active site. This is substrate molecule and it is active site of enzyme, substrate molecule, active site and it is an enzyme. So, this is first step in enzyme activity. Once again, during its catalytic activity the active site of enzyme is going to attract why it is going to attract due to it consists of different functional groups these functional group can accept the substrate molecule suitable substrate molecule for enzyme is attracted by active site of enzyme 
and it is going to bind with active site of enzyme. In second step of catalytic activity of these enzymes, now after binding of substrate molecule which uh, with active site of enzyme, this enzyme can offer various types of functional groups and these functional groups are useful for the conversion of substrate molecule into product molecule. So remember after binding, so here various types of functional groups which may be present inside of the enzyme are useful for the conversion of substrate molecule into I would like to consider it as product molecule. The substrate molecule converted into product molecule. After formation of product, the product will be detached from the active site of enzyme and enters into our body. So this is how enzyme can exhibit its catalytic activity. So once again, every enzyme will have one site that is called as active site and this active site can attract substrate molecule due to consist of various types of functional group and the substrate molecule will binds with the active site followed by various functional groups which are available inside of the active site of enzyme is responsible for the conversion of substrate molecule into product molecule. After formation of product, the product will be eliminated out from the substrate molecule uh, active site of enzyme and enters into our board. And second one, let us learn about enzyme interaction or enzyme inhibition. Under this side heading, first we explain that how enzymes shows their biological activities or catalytic activity, how they convert substrate molecule into product molecule with a diagram. Similarly, in the second one, how the drug molecules are going to binds with or stops enzyme activity. Let us learn drugs can target drugs can target enzymes enzymes by blocking their active sites by blocking their active sites so when the active sites of enzymes blocked by drugs there are no free active sites available for the substrate molecule to convert it into product so this is one of the most important step included in drug enzyme interaction or drug enzyme or how the drugs are going to target enzymes and also during this process or some of the drugs are going to inhibit inhibit catalytic activity of enzymes catalytic activity of enzymes that means the usual drugs may show two types of action on enzymes one is the usual drugs can block the active site of enzyme second one they inhibit catalytic activity of enzymes so remember those drugs which are going to inhibit catalytic activity of enzymes are called as enzyme inhibitors the chemical substances used to inhibit enzyme activity are called as enzyme inhibitors now the enzyme inhibitors can inhibit enzymes in two different mechanisms let us learn first mechanism it is called competitive enzyme inhibition competitive enzyme inhibition so what is competitive enzyme inhibition so one of the method available for drugs to target active site to inhibit catalytic activity of enzyme is called competitive enzyme inhibition in this competitive enzyme inhibition the structure of natural substrate molecule so this is the natural substrate molecule which wants to binds with active site of enzyme natural chemical substance or substrate molecule and again it is active site and it is enzyme 
active site. Here, the used drug will have same structural features with respect to that natural substrate molecule but a small change. What is this drug molecule and what is this natural substrate molecule? Here structural similarities present in between that of natural substrate molecule and drug molecule. When the used drug molecule and that natural substrate which wants to bind with active site to convert it into product are structurally similar. In case of natural, in place of natural substrate molecule, the drug molecules are inserted into the active site of enzyme and by this mechanism they are going to stop or they are going to block enzyme's activity. This type of mechanism is called as competitive enzyme inhibition. Whereas in second type of enzyme inhibition, which is called as allosteric enzyme inhibition, allosteric enzyme inhibition. So during allosteric enzyme inhibition, remember some enzymes are also consist of allosteric site in addition to their, those of active sites. So it is active site of enzyme where it is allosteric site of enzyme. So remember in this mechanism the used drugs never binds with the active site of enzyme instead of active site they are going to target allosteric site of enzyme when a drug molecule is going to bind with allosteric site of enzyme it is going to change the structure of active site the allosteric site will helps us to change the structure of active site this is the drug molecule so before the binding or target of drug to allosteric site of enzyme, this is the actual structure of active site. But when the used drug molecule enters or binds with the allosteric site of same enzyme, it changes active site structure. When active site structure changed by the drugs, there is no natural substrate molecule binds with the active site because the substrate molecule structure will become different from active site structure. So by this structural, whenever structural difference is identified between active site of enzyme with natural substrate molecule, the natural substrate molecule never allowed to, no, never allowed inside of the active site of enzyme, there is no catalytic reaction takes place. By this mechanism, we can decrease the quantity of unnecessary product or during metabolic processes. So this is how the drugs can target enzymes and one more important chemical substances available or important proteins available in the body which are widely targeted by drug molecules are receptors hence let us learn the next topic receptors as drug targets receptors as drug targets Remember, what are receptors? They are also a type of proteins. These proteins are generally found to exist in cell membrane of living organism body. So remember, this is the fluid mosaic model of cell membrane and all these are phospholipids and sphingolipids. So here, these receptors are a type of proteins present. Most of the time, these receptors are most of the amount of receptors embedded, embedded within the cell membrane and it will present like this. So, the further continuation of cell membrane. So, in the structure of cell membrane, a specified proteins present which are embedded in the cell membrane such proteins are used as receptors what is the purpose of receptors as i explained just now receptors are a good or useful for communication system used in communication system so they are useful for the transportation of message from one neuron to cell effector cell the same thing same thing here 
when these proteins are embedded in the cell membrane uh, a little portion of receptor will be present outside of the cell membrane with active site like uh, enzymes every receptor are also present with active site these active sites are present towards the exterior side of the cell membrane of the cell now if any natural chemical messenger what are chemical messengers the brain or one neuron can send message these messages are transported from one place of the body to another place of the body or one neuron to another neuron so these messages are transported in our body in uh, with the help of a chemical substances these chemical substances are called as natural messengers now those natural messengers are going to reach this receptor whenever the natural messengers are going to reach nearby the active site of receptor the active site will going to change its shape or the active site will become different so the difference of the structure of active site will give some information to the cell so this is how receptors are useful in our body and natural chemical messenger chemical messenger when enters or when reaches nearby the receptor some change in the receptors activity which can give information to the cell that means without entering into the cell the chemical messengers by interacting with receptors they show their activity so these are receptors now we how to learn how the drugs are going to target receptors various types of receptors are present so these receptors are selectively targeted by drug molecules to cure various types of diseases in our body wide variety of receptors and wide variety of chemical imbalances are identified due to abnormal activity of receptors to overcome these problems we have to use drugs and remember one example histamine receptors in our body one type of receptors available are histamine receptors each receptor accept message from its own natural messenger molecule chemical messenger molecule only that means histamine receptors are present in the cell membrane those are going to accept message from histamine chemical messenger similarly like this various types of uh, receptors and their own chemical messengers are available in the body so this is how the receptors are targeted by drug molecule that means they are going to target the active sites of receptors to block its activity next the drugs which are going to target receptors are mainly two types they are antagonist drugs and agonist drugs antagonist drugs and agonist drugs come to what are antagonist drugs and what are agonist drugs the chemical substances are the drugs which acts opposite to chemical messenger natural chemical messenger and binds the activity of receptors are called as antagonist drugs once again the chemical substances acts opposite to natural chemical messenger and binds the receptor binds the activity or blocks the activity of receptors are called as antagonist drugs similarly come to agonist drugs those chemical substances which mimic the property of natural messenger molecule and binds with receptors to show their natural activity in case of deficient quantity of chemical messengers takes place in the body we how to take additional chemical messengers from outside of the body those chemical messengers can mimic deficient chemical messenger properties and shows their activity towards the receptors such type of drugs are called as 
agonist drugs. This is the receptor, the drugs which can target receptors are two types, agonist and antagonist. Antagonists opposite to or blocks the receptors and agonists, they are nothing but a type of natural chemical messengers can initiate or can motivate receptors activity.